hello guys welcome back to my channel my Eat, the digital school in this video we will be discussing on a topic how to update the data column row in oracle table we can refer any term which we are comfortable with so data or we can say column or a row in a oracle table how to update that that we will be discussing in this video and that we are going to do using two different tool or way i can say first is sql developer whatever i am presenting now this is a sql developer tool which is provided by oracle it's a free of cost if you want to install it uh, there is a separate video which uh, i will be providing a link into the description or else you can do this operation using the command prompt as well so basically students mostly using the command from uh, for db practice so we uh, we will be discussing that in the command prompt as well okay the reason behind making this video is one of our viewer has asked these questions and i thought of making a quick video on that which will be helpful for some of our viewers okay so in sql developer updating a table can be done in a two different ways first is manual update and second one is using command or we can say script manual update it's a, a direct update which we can do for a development purpose or our practice purpose but it's a not recommended way because in our real time world when you are going to work in a, some organization or company there you have to write the scripts or command only which will be provided to the client and they will execute those scripts in their environment or their db we can say and uh, whatever changes we did that will be applied on their database which is not possible using the manual update so always try to go with the scripts but you are doing some practice and you are already aware on the scripts you can do a quick update using the manual way as well so manual way uh, a manual update is possible only in sql developer uh, it's not possible in command prompt okay so let's discuss both the ways let me just come in this whatever i have written so first way is manual update so let me show you the table first which we are going to update okay so if we write a simple command select star from employees this is the employee table which hold the employee details and we we are going to perform some of the column updation over here for example for uh, employee id 198 we will update the phone number or we will update the hire date or salary some updation we will perform okay so let's go with the manual update first so you can go to the connection uh, if this connection tab is not visible this will be visible from view and here you can see connection option so once this is open you can go to the schema which you connected you can just expand it and search for your table name okay so we are going to perform the updation in employees table so i will just click on it when i click on it the details of that table will be opened so if you see there are different tabs over here so this will show the all uh, present columns in the table if you click on data this will show all the data into that particular table okay so if you want to update the salary of employee id 198 just go to the salary column so current salary is 2600 okay which we can see in here as well in our table i will just pin this so that we can check the old data later on now we will change this salary from 2600 to something else okay so you can directly click on this and you can update the salary let's say let's make it one thousand dollar okay once that is done you can click on this commit button over here you will get the message commit is successful and you can go to your previous window and you can re-execute that select statement now if you see for employee id 198 donald the salary it is showing as 1000 so this is useful for the quick development you don't have to keep writing the scripts this is a only one column we updated but when you want to update multiple columns for development purpose you can do it in this in a faster way using the manual update okay uh, this is only for development and practices practices but not uh, used in uh, real time so another way is using the scripts okay so let's start on that so when updating the column using the script there are three main keywords first is update second is set and third one is where condition okay these three keywords are very important for updating any column okay so update in front of that you have to write the table name which you want to update so update employees okay 
in front of set keyword you need to write the column which you want to update for example let's update the salary again employee uh, sorry salary okay so we are again going to update that uh, employee id 198 salary from 1000 to let's say 2000 okay so we want to update the salary column so i have written the salary column equal to whatever value we want to update we'll put that 2000 where employee id equal to 198 please note here where column is very important because if you execute this about two lines without where clause all the data in salary column will be updated let me just show you that quickly as well so if you see 107 rows so all the data has been updated you can check that as well so all the employees salary is updated to 2000 because we have not selected the where employee so let me just roll back that changes and it will look as previously 1000 so we want to update the salary of only employee id 198 so we return where clause employee id 198 and we will execute this command now so the salary of employee id 198 only will be updated from 1000 to 2000 so i executed this command and we will go back and we'll execute this one if you see the salary of employee is updated to 2000 okay yeah let's try some other example now uh, let's try to update the phone number let's go with the first uh, name now uh, we'll go with alexander so there are two employees with the same name alexander so what we will do we will update the phone number of alexander so the employee whose first name start with the alexander we are going to update the phone number of those employees okay so same query uh, we will reuse again we are going to update the employees table but here we are going to update the column phone number so write the column name which you want to update and then provide the value okay what mobile number you want to update to that you will provide here so let's put some random number here okay and we are going to go with the first name now so first name with alexander okay so what this query will do the employee whose first name start with alexander their phone number will be set to this number we'll check that let's execute this so for execution you can just select it and press Control enter or you can select this green arrow, arrow over here that will also run this query so if you see there were two employees with the name alexander so two rows two rows are updated let's check if the data is updated correctly or not and we will write fair clause here as well where first name equal to alexander so if you see the phone number of alexander employee has been updated to whatever number we provided so this is the way uh, by using the command or script we can refer it and that's how we can update any column uh, in the table it's also possible to update multiple columns it's not like one by one we need to update so for example let me just roll back those changes okay i have uh, reverted the i have rolled back the changes whatever i have done so phone number is old one we will update the multiple columns from here now so you have to write comma another column which you want to update so let's say uh, you want to update the date okay higher date of that particular employees alexander employees so <clears throat> you write another column name and you provide some date which you want to update to so let's say first of january 2024 so current dates are different 2006 to 2003 now we are updating the higher date of these employees to first of january 2024 okay we'll just execute this one and we'll check if the data is updated correctly <clears throat> and if you see the phone number as well as higher date has been updated to whatever data we provided okay one more important note here in this tool or even in the command prompt after doing the data manipulation you mean updation or deletion you have to click on this commit okay you have to click on that commit button or you have to write command as a commit to save the operation which you have performed so whatever 
whatever changes we have done now that is only in our local if you want to store that data if you want to save that data we need to execute this commit okay once this data is commit it will be saved and uh, everyone will be able to see that data i don't want to save the data so i will just roll back so whatever <coughs> sorry whatever old data was there i will be able to see that once i rolled back right so let's perform the same operation using the command prompt now okay what we'll do we will execute the same <clears throat> same line of code or command prompt uh, from the same line of script from the command prompt let's go to command prompt <clears throat> okay i will just log in to hr schema for those who don't know what is hr schema so hr schema uh, is a one one schema provided by oracle itself which comes with uh, some predefined table and with uh, some dummy data to do some practicing if you want to uh, use that uh, and uh, you want to know how to install that i have separate video for that you can refer it so let me just connect it to hr schema i have given the wrong details <clears throat> hr is username hr is password i have set the password as hr only then local host as this schema is present on my local and then port number and crucial pdp okay we are connected to our hr schema now we can check by writing the select query again select star from employees this will have very big data so you may see <coughs> multiple rows over here so all rows are presented here what we are going to do now <coughs> we will just check the same employees details okay so let's copy this command paste it here okay this is not very good presentation so let me just do one thing i will just write the columns which we want to see so employee id is the one column we want to see then first name and we want to see what salary okay yeah so we are able to see three columns now now what we'll do we'll update the salary <coughs> of alexander name but only for the first row okay so what we are going to do we are going to update the salary of employee id 103 so that we are going to use the employee id so that only one row is updated okay so our script script start with update then table name then set keyword and followed by which column you want we want to update which is salary what salary we want to update to let's say 5000 where employee id equal to 103 as we are providing the employee id which is unique so only first row will be updated after executing this command so just enter you see one row is updated now just execute the previous command you see salary of 103 alexander is updated to 5000 from 9000 so yeah that is the possible ways of updating the table uh, you can play around with a different where condition uh, like first name last name uh, but uh, better way is to use the unique columns like employee id so that multiple rows won't get updated and only rows which we want to update those only get updated if you have any question uh, uh, drop it in a comment i will try to answer that's it for this video if this video has helped you in any way uh, show your support by liking the video and subscribe to the channel for more such videos thank you